Hello friends, I'm Um and as the video is all about, I just hopped again. Now there's a very specific reason for that. Recently I tried GNOME OS 48 which is like just a desktop with flat packs. None of the distro stuff, like really nothing. And I quite liked it because it was very very simple, lightweight, amazing for low end PCs and very very fast. And I like the distro because of the desktop. That is true. I almost don't give up about the distribution and its packages because now mostly I use flat packs. That's it. And that is why I don't need APT or DNF or anything. I just need flat packs for my most of the stuff. And that is why I went for an immutable distribution. Which is why here I am on Vanilla OS. And let me just show you here. It is pretty smooth. It is pure GNOME, vanilla GNOME. And if I show you here the system about, as you can see, it is vanilla OS 2 Orchids. I have an AMD Ryzen 7 5800HS with 16 gigs of RAM, along with something you might not think about. You see, let me just show you another amazing thing about this immutable distribution. I get hybrid graphics through NVIDIA Prime. I go there and I have the option to switch between a discrete GPU which is my RTX 3050 4 gigs of RAM as a VRAM and I can switch to my integrated GPU which is from AMD or I can use the GPU the integrated GPU for all application and discrete GPU on demand which is like the hybrid version of the distribution which allows me to save my battery life wait let me just do which allows me to save my battery life with giving me the performance only when I need. That is the stuff I did not had in any of the distribution I used. Yeah, Windows does that, yes, true. But the whole point of I'm using Linux is to say goodbye to Windows, am I not? And as you can see, I just love doing multitasking here with GNOME activities. As you can see, I just love this. Along with that, all these applications you are seeing are from GNOME softwares and every application here is a flat pack, just like that. Wait, is that a sheep? And with that, as you know, it is one of the latest versions of GNOME. I have option for appearances and ascent colors, which allows me to change ascent colors on demand, which I just go on with this orange one because it matches my theme. And not to forget these amazing wallpapers from Vanilla and GNOME as well. Well, I've not yet, you know, customized anything yet. But I just wanted to show you this raw experience. And yeah, I'm at the corner right now. You see, I could have gone for adding a webcam directly to OBS. But somehow, like, the camera application of GNOME does way better job than OBS or any camera application or integration. This GNOME camera is literally just awesome. Just look at the quality, it is a 1 megapixel camera, can you believe that? And yeah, leaving that, you see the specific like why I'm using Linux is most probably for coding, AI stuff. And that is why here I am. It is a fresh install of vanilla, so let me just go on and install something. Well, hey, one thing. I was wondering, like, just like we have ChatGPT on Windows and other stuff like that, I'd like to use an AI, so I thought, why not go with Gemini? And yeah, for those who don't know, Gemini can be used without Google login now. As you can see, I have not logged in, and here I am going to Gemini. You see, the only reason I'm use I'm trying to use an artificial intelligence or a chatbot is specifically for knowledge purposes. Like every now and then, I go and ask AI whether can I do this stuff or that, you know, that stuff. Here I am on Gemini, and I can ask anything. So yeah, you see, I'm going to start my coding, well, coding journey in the field of artificial intelligence which means i'll have to learn python which is also coding and besides that a lot of other stuff yep you see i re recently passed from my schooling and i'm moving to my next section of my life which is college and there i plan to go on with artificial intelligence so yeah 
I want to learn about that and that is where Linux is going to be my main tool, operating system. So let me just ask Gemini, I want to go in the field of AI and CSC. I have installed Linux for it. Give me a roadmap from beginning to start my journey. Okay, so I asked Gemini that whether I should install VS Code right now or later. So yeah, it is saying that yes, absolutely, I can go on with Visual Code Studio right now. And I don't know why I feel like my voice is a little like not enough. So I'll just increase the volume till then. I believe yeah, now it is clear. So it has shown me that I can install VS Code by these things. But there's a better way with everything, especially when I'm on GNOME and Flatpaks, just type VS Code. And here I am to Visual Code Studio. And this is the Flatpak version, which I can install directly. And it's going to take some time as of I can see. So let me just click on install and it is going to start installing. And the best thing about it is that every application here is containerized, which means it is not emulated if you get the wrong idea. The data of the application is going to be separate from the system. It's not going to be like most of you guys have a misconception about immutability, containerization and virtualization. So let me just tell you, virtualization means literally creating a separate operating system which will be running over another operating system that is called emulating or virtualization. And then you will be able to run application on the secondary soft you know system that takes a lot of memory resources and it is very slow now the second thing is containerization or immutability which is nothing but just a separate subsystem subsystem is not virtualization it's like just separating the data and the resources not virtualization the whole operating system it's gonna use the same resources same drivers but the data of the application and everything from the system is going to be separated. That's the difference. And it's going to take some time. Well, leaving that, I believe GNOME has been doing pretty great job here in its application. Like they're pretty well optimized, smooth, and as you can see, always up to date. And I actually like all this stuff, especially, yeah, but yeah, there's one thing I've been literally messing with right now. I tried to install an icon pack, my favorite icon pack, which is Papyrus, and I was not able to do that. So let me just give it another try, shall we? So I found these Ubuntu installation scripts, so let me just try it. You see, it is Debian based, yes, but I don't know it's gonna work or not because it is immutable for sure. Let's try. And it was not found, as I thought, it's immutable. So how am I supposed to customize vanilla desktop? Well, it's obvious. Let me just ask Gemini. Well, maybe not. Wait, if it can, if it can use APT, then it should be able to install GNOME tweaks, shouldn't it? Yes, install. And it's gonna take some time again. Well, multiple things are downloading simultaneously. So yeah, the download speed is not gonna be that good. But yeah, another thing. I changed the structure of my room to my like the earlier version of my channel like earlierly you should if you are an old subscriber you know that this is how I used to create videos earlierly and then I shifted everything and changed the looks of my videos the background but now I switched it back because I believe this is way better yep maybe and yeah besides that I'm planning an expansion of my YouTube channel and if someone has the idea of what expansion means, you can give me ideas in the comment section. And yeah, another thing, I actually like this way, like, you see, using camera application just to show my face, it's actually good. I literally like it, to say the truth. So 46% for Visual Code Studio and it's done. You see, this is the error I've been getting, trying to export GNOME tweaks. And when I'll search for tweaks here, wait, tweaks on whatever that is. So yeah, it was able to come, 
let me just try to apply papyrus finally it is done here it is papyrus icon pack which isn't applied yet wait what papyrus icon pack has not yet applied throughout the system as i thought it's only gonna run in the containers not other places for obviousness oh man so how am i supposed to enable or apply any icon packs themes or stuff how am i supposed to do that because like gnome customization is the first thing i usually do and i cannot do that oh man looks like i'll have to ask ai for this gemini well i usually prefer chat gpt but still okay i want to install and apply icon pack in vanilla os2 which is immutable gnome distro let's see okay that's the stuff as we know vanilla os uses ab root to maintain the system's immutability and apx which allows us to install the application so in order to install gnome tweaks properly i'll need to use ab root to install gnome tweaks which will install gnome tweaks properly throughout the system so first i'll need to what uninstall the apt version which is nothing but just applied to the container so what was hey, let me just should sudo apt remove or purge maybe remove package all right it has to be gnome tweaks yes and it has been removed let me just check it has not been maybe it has been yep it has been okay then now let me just copy this go to this black box terminal right click and paste can't run hoshel as root why the heck am i okay then go on with this one yes it has been added and where it is i don't know literally and now i have to use this as well okay where is the black box oh there it is paste all right and now isn't it all right this such this download button which is installing this thing from somewhere from girl maybe <laughs> okay let's just take a look yeah one another thing whenever the system updates or anything is being downloaded every time it uses these sort of code words to show how much data has been downloaded and install whatever that is just like that just like that but yeah it looks cool besides that my visual code studio is approximately 91% so yeah almost there i literally like sliding the sliding it like that yep it is actually cool just like that yep it is the three finger gesture is just awesome okay so it is actually installing this particular gnome tweaks in the immutable system which is now making it mutable just to install this specific thing wow i actually sort of like this immutable thing all right then so yep whenever you are facing any issues you can ask ai and it will actually give you good results here now i can obtain my icon pack from various sources for example gnome look i can install icon packs from its repositories using apt or oh, really but in order to install it the location where you place the icon packs can be important due to immutable nature it is best to place within your home directory dot icon folder if you are installing from an apx and want the immutable system wide you may need to use ab root shell command sudo ab root shell then you can place the icon pack to this place user share icon packs and then i can just apply directly okay i will do it later and it has not been removed properly yet maybe i need to purge something instead of doing that yeah maybe i should have just purged it well about that vs code has been installed as you can see right now there it is let me just put it there and open it as i thought wait flat pack has a warning you are running an unofficial flat pack version of vs code please open this version running inside a container and therefore is not able to access sdks on your host system to execute command on the host system run inside the sandbox here 
uh-huh restricted mode is intended for safe code whatever okay then yep it's my first time so i'm just gonna ignore this warning just as a typical indian and i'd like to customize this thing first let me just go to appearances maybe not there maybe i should go to settings file preferences settings um go to settings from here command palette all right i thought it was a different palette themes at last color themes and here i have to choose one so why not light visual code studio this looks okay ish let me just go to themes color themes light modern yep this one looks a little better light plus default light which is this no all right then so i'm gonna go with light modern theme here and i'll have to learn this whole thing from the start which i'll do later i just wanted to set up my coding setup i believe i'm done for the video am i not yep sort of i just wanted to give you an update that i have literally finally destroyed from fedora to vanilla it's gonna be really really hard wait why am i like this it's gonna be really 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 hard for me to get adapted to an immutable distribution for the first time yes i have installed immutable distribution for creating videos just to showcase the updates and features but i've never used it as a daily driver but here i am and in the next video i'll be maybe customizing the desktop or something like that but yeah i'll meet you in the next video till then i'm signing out